cross-examine the opposing Gentlemen witness? Not That's a point of inquiry. Not shout out in the middle of testimony. You need to call balls and strikes the right way. He, you don't interrupt either one of them, Mr. Chairman. You're the your your questioner or the witness. Bang it harder. It still doesn't make the point the that you're not doing it right. The gentleman will continue. And I, I've been in some kangaroo hearings in courts, not my own when I was there, but I have been mistreated in hearings before, but I have never seen anything like this. Uh, the purpose of this hearing, as we understand it, is to discuss whether President Donald J. Trump's conduct fits the definition of a high crime and misdemeanor. It does not. Such that the committee should consider articles of impeachment to remove the president from office, and it should not. This case, in many respects, comes down to eight lines in a call transcript. Where we don't allow the fact witnesses to come in here, we have the lawyers come in and tell us what we're supposed to know about those witnesses and about their testimony and about their impression and what the law is. This is outrageous. My friend uh, Jim Sensenbrenner said in 41 years, he's never seen anything like what we have going on here to try to oust a sitting president. Let me say clearly and unequivocally that the answer to that question is no. The record in the Democrats' impeachment inquiry does not show that President Trump abused the power of his office or obstructed Congress. To impeach a president who 63 million people voted for over eight lines in a call transcript is baloney. Democrats seek to impeach President Trump not because they have evidence of high crimes or misdemeanors, but because they disagree with his policies. You know, there have been famous moments in impeachment. There have been famous moments in impeachment as we've gone forward. There are famous lines from Nixon like, what did the president know and when did he know it? From the Clinton impeachment, there was, I did not have sex with that woman. What would be known about this one is probably, where's the impeachable offense? Why are we here? I now recognize the ranking Mr. member of the Mr. Judiciary Chairman. Committee. The gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Collins, have you his opening consent? statement. Mr. Chairman, have you unanimous consent? The gentleman from Georgia is recognized. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized. So you're not going to recognize a possible motion before me? Unanimous consent, Mr. Chairman. It's unanimous consent request. It's unanimous consent. It's unanimous, unanimous consent request. request. The gentleman from Georgia is recognized. We'll entertain that later. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman from Georgia is Mr. Ready. Chairman, I have a point, point of, of order. order. The gentleman will state his point of order. Mr. Chairman, last week you were furnished with a proper demand for minority hearing pursuant to Clause 2J1 of Rule 11. In a blatant and egregious violation of the rules, you are refusing to schedule that hearing. Therefore, I insist on my point of order unless you are willing to immediately schedule a minority hearing day. That is not a proper point of order in today's hearing. As I have told the ranking member several times now, I am considering the minority's request. It's not to be considered, Mr. Member, Chairman. Gentlemen will suspend. If the ranking member thinks we would be violating the rules of the House if we considered articles of impeachment before holding a minority day hearing, his point of order would be timely at a meeting where we considered articles of impeachment. That is not the purpose of today's hearing, and the point of order is not timely. You found numbers that you thought were like it. Some of them actually didn't exist because you, they claimed that they were for the White House Budget Office, and they were not. So we're throwing stories out there because nobody was, nobody was out there acting. So I go back to my question. Are you going to go on record in front of everybody here today and say that you will not tell who ordered this, you or Mr. Goldman? Mr. Goldman, you or Mr. Schiff? I am going to go on record and tell you that I'm not going to reveal how we conducted this investigation. And that's the problem we have with this entire thing Mr. Schiff said behind closed doors. I can doors tell you what the importance time. is. I'm done with you for right now. We're done. Right. You're not answering the question. You're not being honest about this answer because you know who it is. You're just not answering and look at Twitter. I try to stay off Twitter lately. Did you know President Trump tweet, uh, uh, tweeted about former Vice President Joe Biden over 25 times between no. January and uh, July 25th? No, I didn't. I didn't look at those tweets. Did you look at how many times President Trump mentioned Vice President Biden in a speech or rally leading up to the July 25th call? Hey, President Trump goes to a lot of rallies. He does a lot of tweeting. I think it's pretty difficult to draw too many conclusions from his tweets or his statements at rallies. Mr. Chairman. Well, sir, Mr. Chairman, parliamentary inquiry. The gentleman is not recognized for parliamentary inquiry. Uh, Mr. Chairman, what is The gentleman it? is not recognized. The gentleman, Mr. Burke has the time. Parliamentary inquiries are not in order at this time. Well, how about a point, point, of, point, order? Of, order. point of order? This is not appropriate to have a Does witness have a point be a questioner a point of, of somebody order, that was a witness gentleman, when he was. The gentleman will suspend. It's just wrong.
Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen will refrain Mr. Chairman, from point making... of inquiry. Point gentlemen of will... Well, I made a point of order, and you won't rule on it. I have not heard a point of order. If the Mr. gentleman has a state of point... Mr. Chairman, point gentleman of order. gentleman has a point of order, he'll state your point of order. Yes, Mr. Chairman. There is no rule nor precedent for anybody being a witness and then getting to come up and order. question. And so I have ruled we would... That the point not, of order is he's inappropriate to be up here asking questions. That is not a point of order. He's here in accordance with Rule 66. With How much money do you have to give to get to do that? <laughs> the gentleman will not cast aspersions on members of staff of the committee. Mr. The gentleman, Mr. Chairman, it was a legitimate Mr. order. Mr. Burke has the time. Mr. Chairman, Mr. point Burke of order. Has, Mr. Is Burke Mr. Burke a member of the committee? Mr. Burke has the time. Mr. 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 Chairman, Mr. have a legitimate Mr. Burke point, of point of order. Mr. Burke has the time. You have to recognize the point, point of order. Point of order. The gentleman will state a point of order. This gentleman is presenting his opinions as a witness. He's supposed to present the material the facts in the report, the point of order. not to appear no. for his opinions. Is that right or not? The gentleman, that is not a point of order. It is Mr. Burke's time pursuant to it's Rule 66. It's inappropriate testimony to the committee. It is, I have ruled... The, the gentleman has the time pursuant to Rule 660. Point of order, uh, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman will state a point Just of order. Just to help yes, you, that's yes, not in Rule 660. The gentleman will state a point of order, if the, he has one. Yes, the point of order is this. Um, we operate by rules. If there's nothing specifically in the rule permitting this, we go by precedent. It is unprecedented for a person to come and sit, who you've described as a witness, to then return to the bench and begin the questioning. The gentleman has stated, that is a point of order. The gentleman has stated... Uh, is that a point of order? It's not a point of order, but I will point out... It's not a cognizable point of order. I will point out that we have, the gentleman has been designated by me to, to do this questioning. Uh, pursuant to Rule 660, House Resolution 660, which is part of the rules of the House. Is, we didn't it, do it a soliloquy, then. It is in accordance with the rules of the House, and the gentleman's time will resume. Mr. Burke. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Castor, you were aware that President Trump announced his candidacy for re-election in 2020, and he announced it the month before the July 25th call on June 21st? Okay. Did you find that? Did you look at that in your investigation as part of looking at President Trump's intent and what he intended on the July 25th call? I mean, the date he announced his, I mean, he's obviously running for re-election. What is, what is the date he announced his intent to run for re-election matter? Every fact alleged by the whistleblower has been substantiated by multiple witnesses, as if a person needs to verbally acknowledge the name of a crime while he is committing it for it to be a crime at all. The evidence shows that Donald J. Trump, the President of the United States, has put himself before his country. We will hear 30-minute opening arguments from councils for the majority and the minority of this committee. I tell you, this may be, though, become known as the focus group impeachment. Because we don't have a crime, we don't have anything we can actually pin, and nobody understands really what the majority is trying to do, except that it interfere and basically make sure that they believe the president can't win next year if he's impeached. The focus group impeachment takes words and then takes them to people and say, how can we explain this better? Because we don't have the facts to match it. A focus group impeachment says, you know, we really aren't working with good facts, but we need a good PR move. That's why we're here today. Evidence, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman is not recognized. We will now hear presentations of evidence. I have a counsel. parliamentary inquiry. I haven't removed my objection yet. I will not recognize a parliamentary inquiry at this time. We when will, will now you hear presentations them? of evidence from counsels to the is, judiciary. Is this when we just hear staff ask questions of other staff and the members get dealt out of this whole hearing? And for the next four hours, you're going to try to overturn the result of an election with unelected people giving gentlemen testimony? Gentlemen will suspend. What is very detrimental to me, though, is this. This committee is not hearing from a factual witness. This committee is not doing anything past hearing from law school professors and staff. 
We've not been given. The, pre the chairman said something about the president not being able to come. Show me where he would actually have a proper process in this that's not talking to staff and not talking to law school professors. When we could actually have witnesses that would be called by both sides. The sham impeachment, when we go through this, I think the chairman said something that was interesting. He said that the president should not be above the law and should be held accountable for the oath of their office. I think Congress ought to be held accountable for their oath of office as well and not to do what we're doing right now, and that is run a process that doesn't fit fairness or decorum, to run a process and a fact pattern that you're having to force against a president you don't like. When we got the Mueller report, it didn't go real well. So we had a lot of hearings, didn't go real well. Then we finally got Bob Mueller, and they said, this is going to be the movie version. In fact, what happened, they did, my colleagues on the majority had uh, live readings from Capitol Hill. They made dramatic podcasts. They even wrote a comic book rendition that breathed life into the Mueller report. And it didn't work. So they brought Bob Mueller. This was the movie version. They told us Robert Mueller's testimony would be the thing that people watched and would be convinced. Guess what? They wasn't convinced. In fact, it fell flat. But you know, today, I guess, is the movie version of the Schiff Report. Except one thing, the star witness failed to show up. Mr. Nunez is here. His staff is here. The leading headline is there, Schiff Report. But where's Mr. Schiff? Uh, re re to recess at the call of the chair is... How long do we anticipate the recess? The, uh, how long is the recess? Well, the gentleman will suspend. I'd just like to know how the, the long. The gentleman will suspend. It's until they're well, done with their the press conference. The gentleman will suspend.